whenever you all are ready, can you talk through what we're looking at? Yeah, so this is our project. It's like a FFT DJ, and I guess we can just go into yeah. like the demo first. Yeah. So we play music, and it goes through a headphone jack into uh -huh. um, our circuit, and then we can we have two potentiometers. One. Uh, adjust the lower frequencies and want to jump adjust the higher frequencies so we can spin this one and this one's the higher frequency one and we can clearly see like the higher frequencies being like filtered out es essentially um, and there's like a lot less noise on the display too which shows that the higher frequencies are being filtered out so you're sort of low passing is that yeah, yeah. okay now you're adding the high frequencies back in. Yeah. And then if we take the low frequency out. Oh, cool. Wow, nice yeah. Here. All the bassiness goes away. Yeah. And like that looks like that on the screen because our resolution on the screen is just not good enough to capture such high frequencies. So that's like regular music. We can play just a few sine waves too. Just sure. Just to get more of like a... So that's a 200 hertz sine wave. So if we, we can filter that out with the lower frequency. Um, wait, hang on, let me show. And then if we like turn the higher frequency down, we can see that like it doesn't affect this. Sure, so that's above the cutoff frequency for. Yeah. And then up to a thousand, a thousand. At, at about what frequency is the cutoff for your high and your low? I think it's 400. 400-ish? Because it'll get like... Oh, like marbly. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then like... It like doesn't scale down. <laughs> and like both of the knobs kind of affect it a little bit. Yeah. And can you... Can you describe a little bit how you're implementing these filters. Am I correct that you're FFTing, applying a filter, and then inverse FFTing? Yeah. yeah. So they're going to be perfectly like rectangular filters. Um, and then when we're right before applying the inverse FFT, we're scaling um, the frequency range that, like the target frequency range, by a certain amount so that it's either higher or lower than what was reported. Um, yeah. Cool. So the, the, the issue with FFT routines that do this is, is framing, like you tend to get frame artifacts. Yeah. The frame artifacts I can hear, but they're not very bad. Mm -hmm. So did you, how did you, how did you suppress frame artifacts? Um, we cut off, like, the f right now it's just the first two, um, like frequency indexes in the FFT. Um, that made it... Like, we kind of just tested it with a different, like, range of them, and this sounded the best. Um, mm. But, yeah, you can still hear there are, like, still some artifacts when nothing is playing. Um, I, yeah, I think it's mostly um, the FFT artifacts, and they seem to be happening at a fixed, like, interval. Uh, Interesting. How big of a, um, at what rate are you sampling? Um, only 12.5 kilohertz. 12.5 kilohertz. And, and then how big is your buffer? 1024 samples. Okay. So a tenth of a second. About a tenth of a second or so. Cool. And we also think that, like, we, we're we not, um, when we take the FFT, or when we're sampling, we don't apply a window or anything. So that could also be contributing to some of the artifacts. Sure. So, windowing in this in this in this application causes serious AM modulation when you listen to it. Yeah. So unless we... you do half frame overlaps, right? Yeah. So you you take an FFT then you only go half of the frame forward to another FFT and then another half. Mm. And that gives you that gives you enough overlap that you could window. Mm. I'm just gonna get the colors there. <laughs> And you can tell that we have, like, already some, like, um, 
like we modify the FFT a little bit first because if we play square wave, it's gonna look mostly like a sine wave. It, it'll still sound um, wonky like a square uh -huh. wave, but it's not gonna show up perfectly as a square wave because those early, those really low or sorry, high frequencies. The high frequencies are out because we're not sampling at a high enough rate to get the cuts. Sure. Okay. Very nice. Cool. Thank you.